Okay, so the most important cut on the car, you know, everybody asks, you know, how hard is it to cut the car? It's really easy, including this. This is not hard, but you have to do it carefully. It's the one cut, the money cut is right here. So we're gonna be taking, uh, there's two ways to do it. We're gonna show you our preferred way first on why and why, why we cut it this way. Uh, on the sunroof cars, there's two layers here. I don't think, Andy, the, the regular cars have anything but an outer skin, right? This technique so, for the regular cars is not necessary. Yeah, Doesn't the get regular cars have one skin, it's easy, you snip it on the line, you panel bond it, you're good, right? On all of the cars, though, there's a layer of crud, of adhesive, between these two layers. What I like to do, uh, if you, remember, if you're using panel bond, panel bond needs bare metal to act, you know, it's a, it's a flexible epoxy. And so, I'm gonna take the, the, the regular sawzall that we use for cutting the car, and I'm sticking, now we've already done this one, but basically, I put it in here, and I just, you know, I, I angle it slightly, so I'm basically scraping this underside with this saw blade. Now, we broke this free already. You can see the, the adhesive here, it's like a powder almost. We broke this free, but underneath here, you're gonna be able to, to, if you tried to grind this, it would gum up your, your grinding disc. It's like rubbery, right? And so I get rid of that. I'm probably putting a, a bunch of good bare metal scrapes in there, by the way, while I'm doing this. Anyway, I go all the way left to right, and uh, you know, I use the saw not to cut, but to scrape that off. Um, Andy came up with these great, uh, you know, Amazon, he said, what are they called, door? Door shims. Door shims. <laughs> composite. Flexible composite door shims. They've got to be a dime a dozen, Andy. Yep. I can't imagine. About 50 a and, like, and these things can slide between here while you're cutting. I mean, check these out. I mean, all you need to cut this line, uh, I don't use the Sawzall. You can use the Sawzall if you're going all the way through, but you'll have little burrs and stuff that, are, that you have to do body work on later. You have to flatten it out. Preferably, you've got a circular saw with either an abrasive blade, right, like the kind you use to cut bar stock, right? Um, or a metal cutting blade that you're gonna go very slow with, and you can set the depth of the blade, maybe a quarter of an inch, right? And you can line it up, you can see where it's gonna go, and you can cut from this corner to that corner, this flat surface, without cutting this underlying layer. So our rough cut, as you saw in some of the other stuff, is an inch beyond our, you know, our rough cut here is an inch rearward from our final cut on the skin, okay? So we're gonna cut this outer skin away, uh, Andy's got some air shears or some power shears that you know nibble away and take a very clean cut uh, with a power tool. You can use the circular saw. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of different ways. If you have a, a die, you know, a die grinder with a cutoff wheel, you can just walk across. Whatever tools you have, you can use to cut this. My point is, keep the bottom, keep this area where the where the sunroof is sticking out an inch beyond the final cut outer skin. So these are the power shears. This is not an expensive tool. They're about 80 bucks. Um, works pretty well for this, but not necessary as Mark was just describing. I run a couple of those shims in just to give me room for the tip of the blade there so I don't get hung up as I'm going across. And I usually end up doing a little cut and then kind of angling in and then coming back and cleaning up that corner. All I want to take is that surface skin. So that's what I'm after. Cut to that final cut line, and now I'll work my way back across. I just got to clean up that little tab that where I started. One thing I will throw in here from experience, these cut edges are very sharp. So I highly recommend wearing some gloves. You'll end up catching yourself. So wear gloves while you're working this. 
And now we're back to the sawzall. All right. So we're going to okay. use the sawzall to take off the corner pieces. And remember, you guys, the, the skin here is very light. You're going to be putting fiberglass, the leading inch of the fiberglass rear surround. It's going to tuck under here. And you're going to be, uh, this, this is kind of self-smoothing, you know. The, the thing goes in there. You're going to put a couple of uh, rivets or screws in there while the panel bond cures. And then when that final cures, it's pretty much forever. That stuff is, that panel bond is amazing stuff. It really, really anchors this down. And this little lip keeps the panel bond kind of trapped so that you can, you know, kind of bulk this up, you know, grind it down to bare metal, panel bond under here, panel bond inside here. This thing is solid as a rock when you're done the way uh, Andy does it. Okay, so the last cut, we did the skin here. Uh, we put a little piece of foam in here, just like we talked about at the very beginning, to keep the headliner down low, just so we don't hit it with the saw blade, right? Uh, this outside corner, remember we marked off the, the uh, final cut earlier, this little line right here. I'm gonna be cutting off just this outer section and I'm gonna leave the sunroof and this intersection sticking out about a three quarters of an inch beyond the roof skin. To do nothing else, it'll give you this little area right here to anchor the sunroof and it'll give you another three quarters of an inch of sunroof travel when you go to uh, you know, you know, finish the car and have the sunroof open. So I'm gonna trim off just this little corner and you can be over here, I think. All right. 